Let's take a quick look at some of the features uh, that uh, version 7.2.7 uh, provides. The first one has to do with uh, indexing of the offenses. So before 7.2.7, uh, we always had the capability of grouping. So I'm here on the rules uh, section. I'm going to select any rule and I'm going to go to the second screen of the wizard and we, we in the past we always had this capability of indexing the offenses but there were only about 12 categories that we can use like source IP that we see there and anyone that does not have the word custom now destination IP, IPv6, MIC address, even name, host name, etc. Right? Uh, what now we have done is that it has been open to all the properties that you have defined in here you see every all the things that have uh, uh, the word custom next to it and now the the, the realm of possibility for indexing offenses is really uh, 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 very interesting now while i'm still on this uh, panel let me actually show another uh, feature of 727 we always have the capability from offenses uh, to work very effectively with uh, reference sets and reference map uh, by adding entities into those and that was part of the this these two uh, features right here add to reference set and add to reference data but we added it but, but before we didn't have the capability that we see down here which is remove data from those entities uh, which now we can do in the past we need to either delete those manually or programmatically or wait for the time to leave uh, to, to get the elements out of the uh, reference set not anymore now from the offense you can actually uh, code that the next feature has to do uh, with uh, the editing the columns on on, on the uh, searches that we do in Curator when we're looking at, the, at both the logs, this is applicable to logs as well as uh, uh, flows. I got time out uh, um, for inactivity on the console so I'm, I'm back here. So again this feature is applicable to log as well as uh, network activity. So let me uh, show you what I mean. So let's let's use any one of the quick searches that we have here. For example, this one. And on this particular search, let's say that this is the way that the columns are defined: source IP, log source, and all these things. But let's say that I don't want the magnitude of my column, uh, and I want to add, uh, for example, custom rules in here. So we always have had the capability of going and edit this particular search, scroll down here, and actually uh, remove and add the entities uh, that we did not want. So for example, we don't want the magnitude, we take it out. But notice that the minute that I make a change here, what is new is that you get this button showing up, save uh, uh, column layout, which I'll uh, show in more detail in just one second but let's say that we also wanted to add uh, custom rules so let's say that we add that custom rule category in here and now what I do is I can save uh, that uh, custom layout and I can specify a name like my way of viewing things you know and you can have as many as you want right I'm gonna uh, just save that uh, particular layout and of course when you do the search as we have always been uh, able to do you, you get the columns being modified and, and you have custom rules in here and no longer you have the magnitude. But let's say that you are working on any other uh, uh, quick search. Let's select one here, uh, for example this one, inbound events by country and region. And this one has a particular layout and let's say that I want to bring the other layout that is the one that I like. Well no longer I, I don't have to go into edit search and, and, and do the same you know process over and over again what now I can do is I can click here and I have a save custom layout and here I am and when I click search I see that event with the same layout you know with custom rules you know, that you know these are the, the parameters that are defined so this is a way of really helping you avoid having to do that chore of redefining the columns the way you want every time that you uh, perform this search the next feature has to do with uh, showing you if we go to the uh, uh, log sources uh, on the admin tab what we have is now the capability of showing you 
the average EPS for the last minute for every one of these uh, log sources. So now you can see which are the log sources that are you know consuming the most uh, EPSs and the same cap capability you have it when you produce a report as well. Next are some enhancements on uh, the AQL uh, language. So one of the things that we support right now is if then statements. So here we see if the S, if the username is null, then do this. You know else. You know standard uh, if then else as part of the uh, uh, SQL uh, language. And here I click on the search, and you can see the results of the of the actual uh, AQL statement. We also have another extension, which is the kind of a case type of. Well, let me actually paste that in here. So, and here it is. Uh, I pasted it uh, too many times. And so what we what we see in here is uh, you know uh, kind of a state uh, case statement, as I said before, in which the condition if the account ID ID is two hundred, then you do this. But if it's four four and four, then you do that. And you know four or one do this. And if none of the above, you know. You know, you you get the, you get the the idea of the uh, standard uh, case statement within an AQL one. Other enhancements are on the area of performance. No longer you are limited to the most powerful hardware that we have on the appliance. If you have a machine that has um, more memory and processors, and uh, you can now install Curator on that one and enjoy. The advantages of that. We keep on sort of improving the search and the speed of the search, and, and we modified uh, substantially many things in the in the search capability to make it uh, significantly faster. Also, along that, we enable this compression. Now everything is going to be compressed. No longer you have to select uh, what you compress, and, and even when you migrate from previous version is into seven to seven, you you get automatic uh, uh, compression of the new data. And, and that really impro improves the I.O. Tr tremendously. We also have a feature for um, lazy searching where the first uh, 1,000 results of a search are shown first. Kind of what Google does on the first page. When you make a, any search on Google, you get gazillions of pages. But Google only brings the first page in because very, peop very few people you know, need to go after the, the second page. Uh, so similar things on, on here with the with the uh, lazy search. We always have the capability of doing bonding, which is increasing the is used to increase the available bandwidth by combining two or more network interfaces into a single channel. And now we can actually do that uh, right here from the system and license. Let's bring this to the center. And let's say let's say I select uh, curator. Yeah, you need to select here systems. And then you select uh, Curator, and if you go on Network Interfaces, you can actually select, you know, uh, two particular interfaces and do the bonding right from from this uh, GUI. Let's talk about some enhancements on the APIs. Uh, we we have new APIs, and you know, as we you showed before, now you can have access to that information of the bonding and the and the interfaces right here from the API. Enhancements also on the QVM safe searches. Um, so we have instances for uh, vulnerability instances. And we also have a new API to retrieve offense types uh, as well.